a few of the takeaways from the symposium are that, um, one, we need innovative science, we need innovative technology uh, to help us work with some of the challenges that we're going to be facing, like finite resources. One of the points I really took away was that while we're in these countries, we need to be building the capacity of those researchers that we're working with there in country, those researchers, those farmers, those ranchers, to be able to operate uh, these production systems on their own. Um, one of the big, big takeaways is a simple quote that Rajiv Shah uh, of USAID shared with us, and that is that um, hard things are hard. So agricultural development in these developing countries under the conditions that we're going to be facing it's hard, it's difficult, but that doesn't make it not worth doing. And we need to be working in collaboration with the private sector, with NGOs, with government organizations to address these challenges. We need all of our minds together. I realized that the training that I received as an animal scientist and the classes that I took were, were preparing me to be able to work in this workforce of people who are going into developing countries and working with livestock production systems there they prepared me to help people produce animal proteins uh, for themselves through classes like animal nutrition, reproduction, genetics, breeding. All of these courses prepared me to have a knowledge base that can be used to help people improve their systems um, where, where they need them to be improved or want them to be improved. Uh, my uh, attendance at seminars put on by the Borlaug Seminar, for example, have also been part of my education, kind of exposing me to some of the ideas that are out, some of the pro projects that are being worked on right now in developing countries and helping me learn about things that I, I wouldn't know about otherwise, exposing me to things I wouldn't be exposed to otherwise, like some of the challenges that we're facing uh, in feeding the future, so to speak.